Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the channel. As you can tell behind me, I've got the tractor back up in tip top shape. We got two fresh tires on there. I uh, had to open the wallet, grease it real well in order to get these tires purchased. Tires aren't cheap, by the way, for tractors, nor are they for any other uh, vehicle. So we got two new tires on left and right on the front. The back ones are the original. Thankfully, I didn't have to replace the back ones because the back ones are filled with beet juice or rim guard. And uh, that would have been even more, more expensive. The front ones just have air in them. And uh, they're a typical skid steer uh, tire. And so that means they're readily available. So they were a little bit cheaper, although not, uh, not free, that's for sure. We got them on there, hooked up the tractor to the log loader trailer back there. That's the Wallenstein LXT95. If you've been around the channel, you know I really like that thing. Makes life a lot easier. Makes it so when I get fresh logs like these, I don't have to drag them through the mud over to the sawmill. Most of these trees you see here are yard trees. I had to take them down. They were sort of in the way, so we got them over here. They're all white pine with the exception of one over there that's a blue spruce. I'm going to take what I can and load it onto the trailer here today. And eventually I'll make these into floorboards on my sawmill. So first things first, we'll get them loaded up. And some of the logs you just saw me load are a good size. You know, this one over here. That's a pretty good size. If we look at the butt end here, I'd say that's probably, oh, probably 18 inches across or so. Down at the other end, I don't know, maybe you're at 10 inches, but that's a pretty good one right there. And uh, in fact, that looks to be a spruce right there. Uh, but the other ones are limbs off a big white pine. And the butt end of this white pine is right here. There were two big white pines to come down. This one here I took down and you can see, I'm sure we're probably at about Oh, probably at about two feet, maybe uh, 22 inches, somewhere in that range. So this one's going to be a bit of a jag. I do not think we're lifting this one with the log loader trailer. This is cut at 16 feet right now. I can imagine that weighs much more than uh, the lifting capacity of the log loader trailer. The log loader trailer, if you're wondering when that boom there, the arm is at full extension, it can lift 800 pounds. The closer you get it back to the trailer, the more it can lift. So at this point, where it's uh, positioned now, it would lift more than 800 pounds. I don't know exactly what, but definitely more than it. What I'm going to do in just a minute, I am slightly out of reach of that blue spruce log over there. I'm going to use the winch that's attached to this, and we'll just drag it a little bit closer, then I can grab onto it and uh, load her up. So we'll load up whatever we can here. Unfortunately, these white pines are not very straight, although I do have some very straight ones. This one is not. And so I'm going to try to grab this one here. I'm going to have to lose quite a bit of it when I saw it on the sawmill to uh, take the curve out of it in order to make my floorboards. But that's life. So we'll take what we can, load her up. Once we get a good load on there, I'll make my way down to the sawmill. And as I was saying, these logs are making floorboards. They're making floorboards for my, uh, for my log structure I've been building. They're also going to make floor joists. So the boards are on top of the floor joists. And I have about 16 feet of coverage that I need. So we'll see what we can make. But first things first, let's get back to it. Here we go.
Well guys, there we have it. There's seven or eight white pine logs. I think we might actually have two spruce mixed in there. Those are all right around the 12 foot mark. Biggest one being that one on the top there. Lifted them up without issue. Now from time to time when the logs were just out of reach of the grapple, you saw me using the winch. I like to use that winch because it's a little bit faster than me having to lift the outriggers up, um, move the tractor and position the trailer. I can simply pull the winch line out, drag the log just a little bit closer and in a matter of minutes, I'm uh, loading the log just like the rest of them. Now this is the winch I'm talking about up here and it hooks into the same hydraulic system as the rest of the log loader trailer. 1400 pound pull, synthetic line on there. You saw me choking the logs with a choker chain and that just makes it so I don't get any abrasion on the synthetic line. Drag her closer, pick her up, load her up, good to go. So that's that. You did see me try to pick this thing up here, this big log, and I think we're right around, oh, this might be 16 feet. I'm talking about this one right here, the big white pine. That was every bit of 30 inches at the butt end, and it definitely lifted it, but I couldn't lift the whole log at once. So if I'm going to load this anywhere, I'd probably have to do it in stages, lift one end onto the trailer, lift the other end and slide it up, but that'll be for another day. All in all, it worked out pretty well. We're gonna make our way down to the sawmill in just a minute. One other thing about that trailer, that weighs 1,650 pounds. Tack on the log weight, whatever that is, and uh, you got a pretty good jag. The tractor here tows about 7,700 pounds. I don't think we're quite there, but I would say we have uh, definitely uh, a good little bit of weight on there. Capacity on this trailer, 5,000 pounds, and uh, I'm sure I could put a little bit more on this load but that is all i need for the uh for the boards i'm sawing so let's make our way to the sawmill here we go We made it, pretty uneventful trip out here. The saw logs are gonna be made into lumber right shortly. Those saw logs, as I said, are being made into floor joists and floor boards for that log structure I've been building. If you wanna see that whole progression of that log structure, it's like a cabin slash shed, be sure to check out the playlist at the end of this video. Now overall, uh, as I mentioned, it is a little bit of an uneventful trip getting out here, albeit it was a touch muddy because we've had more rain in the last week than we've probably had in the last month and a half. Although the rain has hit, we have been under a fire ban for well over a month. It has just lifted, fortunately, here in central Ontario, Canada, but that doesn't mean we're out of the woods. No pun intended. We have fires, forest fires it is, burning all across Canada, and so by no means do I want to uh, start tackling brush that I've got kicking around. 
for fear of a fire kicking up because although the fire ban is off, it is still pretty dry once you get down a little bit. And if you look around here, I stand to lose an awful lot. And so we're just gonna keep those fires, uh, those fires off for a little bit. I'll find some time to burn some brush and clean some things up another time. As I said, I got saw logs to cut. That is what I will be doing next time. I hope you guys join me for that. It's been a great afternoon out here. It's not overly hot, a little bit muggy, but not too bad. And the bugs aren't uh, too bad either. You guys all take care out there. Be well, get outside, enjoy nature if you can. Keep those bugs at bay and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you next time.